Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about how to set up WSL in Windows to run Linux OS or Linux commands in Windows system without the use of any virtual machine or dual boot. So what are the use cases of using WSL? Mainly WSL can be used by developers to test their source code or applications in Linux systems without creating a new VM in Windows systems. Also WSL can be used to run Linux commands in Windows systems which is awesome. So WSL means Windows subsystem for Linux. So how to install WSL? It's really simple. Just run the command WSL minus minus install. That's all. So first let's try to open a command prompt in administrative mode. So I'm going to open a command prompt in administrative mode. I'm going to run it as administrator and then I'm going to run the command WSL minus minus install. So what this command does is that it will install WSL in the Windows operating system and then it also installs a default Linux distribution which is Ubuntu. So this does two things. It will install WSL and it will also install a Ubuntu Linux distribution in WSL. If you want to install some other Linux distribution, you have to first know what Linux distributions are available for you to install. So for that, before installing, you can just write WSL minus minus list minus minus online or else you can just write WSL minus L minus O. So this gives you the list of available options of Linux distributions that can be installed using WSL. So the default would be Ubuntu or if you want to install some other type of Ubuntu like Ubuntu 22.04 or some kind of Kali Linux or Olaki Linux, you can just grab this name and just you can just write WSL minus minus install and to specify a distribution name you have to write minus d suppose i want to install ubuntu 22.04 so i'm just going to copy this and then i'm going to write here so i'm writing wsl minus minus install and along with that i'm writing minus d i'm specifying the ubuntu distribution which i want and then i'm going to press enter so now wsl is going to install So it's asking me a new username so I'm just gonna write a username and it's asking a password I'm retyping the password so basically we have set up a new Linux system by using WSL and I'm already inside the Linux system so let's try to close this now so what we did was we just ran WSL minus minus install and just like that Windows has installed WSL which is Windows subsystem for Linux and also installed a distribution of Ubuntu. So that was how to install WSL in Windows. It's very simple but WSL is supported only in newer version of Windows 10 or Windows 11. In some cases where the Windows 10 version is a bit old WSL minus minus install command will not work. For that case there is a manual installation steps provided in the Microsoft official documentation I've given that in the blog post. Let's go to that location here. And here you got the manual installation steps for older versions of WSL. It's pretty simple actually. You can just read the stuff or else just follow step by step. Here the first step is enable Windows subsystem for Linux. You just copy this command and run it. The step 2 is checking the requirements. You don't need to do that. And the step 3 is enabling the virtual machine feature. You just copy and run this command. And then step 4 is download the WSL2 Linux kernel update package. You can just click this link and install the WSL2 supporting package and then set the default version to 2 and then install your Linux distribution from the Windows Store. So all these manual installation steps are not required if you are using a new Windows version. So you can skip this part, just run WSL minus minus install if your Windows is a newer version. So the next thing is how to install a particular Linux distribution. Suppose you want to install Oracle Linux now. So how can you do that? It's really simple. Just write WSL minus L minus O and you'll get all the options of the Linux distributions. So you can just again run the command WSL minus minus install minus D and copy the Linux distribution you want. So if you want to run this Oracle Linux, just copy this and, and paste this here. So WSL minus minus install minus D, which is specifying the Linux distribution you want and you'll get another distribution of Linux in your WSL system. So this way you can install multiple Linux distributions in a single Windows machine without even installing a virtual machine. And another way you can install a Linux distribution in Windows is using the Microsoft Store. So I'm going to demonstrate that also. Even though installing from command prompt is easy, let's try to explore this way also. Just go to the Microsoft Store and search for Linux or else you can write the distribution name. Suppose if I want to install the Kali Linux, I can just write Linux and I'm able to see Kali Linux. Just click on this 
and then click on get then WSL will install Kali Linux from the Microsoft Store. Personally, I prefer installing from the command line because it's really easy, but you can even install easily from Microsoft Store also as I just showed you now. All right, let's go through some basic WSL commands. So if you write WSL minus minus list minus minus verbose, you can see what are all the Linux machines installed in your WSL. Currently, I have Ubuntu system installed in my WSL. All right, enough of installation stuff. Let's try to play with it. So I can open this WSL distribution very simply using WSL. That's all. And here it is. I'm able to access my Ubuntu system. You can just run command something like ls. This is a Linux command and it was able to show all the files. I'm going to clear the screen and let's go to the home now. So I'm going to write cd slash home and now I went to the home directory. So this is also a Linux command. So if I want to see all the files, I can write ls minus l and I'm able to see the files present inside the folder. Let's try to exit from this Linux installation. So I'm going to write exit. Now I'm out of the VM. So if I just type WSL, I'm able to go to the default Linux installation. Suppose I have two Linux installations like Ubuntu and Kali Linux. So if I want to open Kali Linux instead of the Ubuntu, which is the default installation. So how can I do that? It's really simple. You just write WSL minus D and the name of the distribution. But if you want to open the default WSL Linux distribution, just write WSL and click enter and then you will go into the WSL Linux system. The next topic is how to access Windows drives inside the WSL shell. So let's try to open a WSL shell of Ubuntu now. So I'm going to write WSL and now my Ubuntu system is open. Now let's try to access the C drive. So how can I do that? It's really simple. Change your working directory to CD slash mount, which is MNT slash C. So this way the C drive of Windows is available to me. And if you have a D drive, I don't have a D drive on my PC, but if you have a D drive, you can write CD slash MNT, which is mount slash D. Then you can go to D drive. So this way using slash MNT, which is mount, you can go to the Windows directory directly. And now if I run ls command, which is listing the files in Linux, I'm able to see the files present in my Windows machine. All right, using this slash mount, you are able to access Windows files from Linux, but what if you want to access this Linux files from Windows? It's really simple actually. Go to the file explorer and if you have a Linux distribution installed, you will see this Linux section and click on this and here you are able to see your Linux distribution. If you have multiple Linux distributions, you will have multiple network folders and that folder can give you access to the Linux distribution files. So if I just click on this Ubuntu, I can see all the Ubuntu OS files from my Windows machine. So if there is some data or some kind of files in this Ubuntu system, I can happily open this Linux section, go to this Ubuntu folder and then copy paste those in my windows and do whatever I want. All right. The next cool thing is you can run Linux commands in windows using just the WSL prefix. Now I'm in a windows folder. Let's try to see what are the list of files. So in windows, you can write dir and you can see all the files. But if you want to run ls command in windows, it's not possible. Obviously, I'm going to write WSL space ls and now you can run Linux command on your windows machine. So that's how you can access Linux commands in windows using the WSL prefix. And now you can do cool things with it because you're not even switching to the VM. For example, if I write dir, I'm getting this list. And if I want to filter the lines which contain the word file, I know the Linux grep command. So let's try to write dir and pipe this output to Linux grep command. And I'm going to search for the word file. But obviously it's a Linux command. So I'm going to write WSL. So let's try to run this. And here you are. We have filtered the lines using the Linux command. So the interesting thing here is we are running a windows command and piping that output into a Linux command inside windows without even opening a Linux VM. So this is super productive thing, which you can do when you have WSL installed in your windows. All right. The next topic is how to shut down your Linux distributions. So once you open your Linux distribution by clicking WSL, your Linux distribution is running actually. So you can see the status of your Linux distribution. So let's try to exit currently. I'm in my windows machine so I can see the status by writing WSL minus minus list minus minus verbose or else WSL minus L minus V and now you can see my Linux distribution is running. So what if I want to shut down this Linux distribution so that I can save memory. How can I do that? It's really simple. You can write WSL minus minus shutdown. This shuts down all your Linux distributions which are currently running. But if you want to shut down a single distribution, you can just name it by writing WSL minus T, which stands for terminate and the distro name. That's it. 
I'm able to terminate the Linux distro by the name Ubuntu 22.04. But if you want to shut down all the Linux distros which are running, I can just write WSL minus minus shutdown and that's all. All the Linux distributions will be shut down. So how to update WSL? By default, WSL will be updated along with Windows update. But if you want to manually update WSL, it's really simple. Just run WSL minus minus update. So I'm going to write WSL minus minus update and WSL will be updated from the command line itself. So how to update a Linux distribution which is already installed? It's really simple. First open the Linux distribution. So I'm going to write WSL and now my Linux distribution will be opened and then I can write sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. So this command will update all the packages and my Ubuntu will be updated. So how to uninstall a Linux distribution? It's really simple. Just write WSL minus minus unregistered and give the distro name. So suppose I have a Linux distribution called Ubuntu 22.04. Let me just check the names. I will just write WSL minus L minus V. I'm sorry, I have to first exit my Ubuntu and now I'm in Windows. So I'll write WSL minus L minus V and I have one Ubuntu distribution, right? Let's copy this and I can write WSL minus minus unregister and paste the name of the Ubuntu distribution and if I just click enter, this Ubuntu system will be wiped off. So this way you can uninstall a Linux distribution. So let's try to play with our Linux distribution. I can just write WSL, go into my Linux distribution. So if I want to create a new file, so I can just write touch hello.txt. Let me try to see the list. I got hello.txt. And if I want to edit this, I can just write sudo nano hello.txt. And now I can write something into it. Hello world. Let's try to see what's present in the document. I can write cat hello.txt. So I'm able to run Linux commands in my Linux distribution. So even WSL allows GUI application. So let's try to install a text editor called gedit. So I'm going to write sudo apt install gedit. All right, gedit is installed. So let's try to clear the screen and let's try to see our files. I want to edit hello.txt so I can just write gedit hello.txt. And now a Linux window is opened in Windows. So I'm just double clicking it. I got full screen and I'm editing whatever I want. Test one, two, three. Let's try to save this and I'm closing it. And let's try to see what's present in the file cat hello.txt. And you can see I was able to make changes using the Linux GUI in Windows without even opening a remote desktop. That's really powerful actually. All right, that was about how to set up Ubuntu or similar Linux distributions in Windows using WSL, which is Windows subsystem for Linux. You can see I've created a blog post on this topic and I've given you all the important commands and the procedures so that you can copy paste and install WSL in your own system. I've also given references to the official documentation and some useful posts. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Please ask questions or give your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.